In this video, we're going to teach you about the seven chakras. Plus, stay to the end for a secret weapon to discover your personal chakra identity. I'm Heather. And I'm David. From Zenrose Garden. Welcome. Yes. Helping people create badass lives. What is a chakra? Hmm. So a chakra is basically a vortex, a spinning wheel of energy that is used to draw energy in and release energy out. From your body. From your body. From the body. From the body. The chakra is no longer a theoretical thing. There are actually imaging systems that can show you these energy centers in your body. There are thousands of chakras. The main seven that we're going to cover have to do with seven different parts of your life. That many. So let's get into it into the chakra. Yes. The first chakra is your root chakra, which is located at the base of your spine. The color is red, and the purpose in your life is stability, foundation, grounding, root sexuality, primal protection. And letting your stuff go. Yes. Then we go on to the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is located round about your belly button, about a couple inches below. Its color is orange, and it has to do with the passion in life, your creative expression and sensuality and sexuality in life. It's really important that this chakra is activated if you are a dancer or a creative person or somebody that's very passionate about what they do. It's good to have it. Yeah. Yes. The next chakra is the solar plexus chakra, and as the name states, it is is located right about here where your solar plexus is. The color is yellow and the purpose in your life is about power, it's about boundaries, it's about feeling safe in your skin, it's about achievement, it's about mental capacity even though it's not in your mind that's here. So this is a great chakra for CEOs or any entrepreneurial type people. Next, we come to the heart chakra, which is located where? About the heart. The color is green, and this has to do with your emotion. A lot of emotions, a lot of relationships, a lot of love for the world, love for yourself. That would be the heart chakra. Compassion, all, the, all the mushy, mushy stuff. The fifth chakra is located in your throat, and guess what? It's called the throat chakra. Its color is traditionally turquoise. Its purpose is, you guessed it, speaking, uh, singing, expression, creative expression, writing, all those kinds of things. This is great for singers or artists of any kind. Next, we come to the third eye chakra, which is located about your third eye, which is also called the brow chakra. It's also called the middle of your forehead. Middle of your forehead. And this one is indigo and basically has to do with your intuition, your gut instincts, even though it's not your gut. They all kind of work together. Yeah. So it has to do with psychic abilities. It has mm -hmm. to do with all that kind of mystical awesomeness. It also has to do with abstract thought. Someone that is a philosopher might have a very active third eye. Eye. So the third eye is not just for mystical Luji people, it's for anybody who's like genius status. Yep, Einstein would be very third eye. I think everybody's genius status, but. The seventh chakra is the crown chakra, and it is on top of your head. The color is traditionally white or violet, and its purpose is connection to the bigger picture, connection to spirit. Call it source, God, angels, the universe, whatever higher essence of everything that created the everything, that would be the connection through the crown. And that's what the crown is all about. Now it's time for the bonus tip. Now we're going to tell you a little bit about how chakras spin. So chakras spin right and they spin left. The word chakra means wheel of light. And just like a wheel, the chakra spins. It spins right and it spins left. One way it's releasing energy and another way it's bringing energy in. The chakras that are in the body spin this way and this way. But the unique thing about the crown chakra and the root chakra is that they spin up and down. The crown chakra spins this way and the root chakra also spins this way facing down. So the crown chakra is pulling in energy from the source, the sun, the universe. Root chakra is pulling in energy from the earth. So you get energy from the source and energy from the earth and they just kind of like bring it all in supernova energy. So you just learned the basics to understanding chakras. So now it's time for that secret weapon. 
we created a special quiz to figure out which celebrity chakra you are. Okay, quiz to find out. Just click the link in the description to get it. Go get it. It's truth, truth bomb, bomb time. time. Leave your truth bomb moments and any questions you have in the comments below. If you liked this video, hit the like button. And I know you can think of at least two people who can benefit from this information. So share it with anyone that comes to mind. If you're ready to take your badass life to the next level, be sure to subscribe. And click the bell to turn notifications on so you are the first to know when we drop a video or go live. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. We'll see you in the next video.